Hey guys, what is going on? It looks like Moon King did change to red, always changing his color. He can't decide what color he wants. Was, uh, what was his first color? I think yellow, then blue, uh, purple, and now he's like, you know what? All my units have died. Let's go to red and make my units how they were. It is right now 2 and 0. Oh, Atero versus Marine King. And Atero is probably in his mindset where he can just do anything and win after taking a convincing 2-0 lead. My guess is we're going to see a 4-gate since he hasn't done it yet. He has played pretty much kind of straight up against Marine King's kind of odd style. So this time, he is probably just going to cheese. Because you know what? If you lose this game, he's still confident he can win another game. So he just wants, probably would want to get it over quick and easy. We will see if he does do that. If my prediction is correct. We do have a SCV building this supply depot down here. Right at 10. I'm curious if he's going to place his barracks right here. Or place it back. We have seen him always place his barracks back and try to do a 3 supply depot wall off if he can. And, uh, SCV still building, gonna get to 12 food to build that barracks. The probe is going off to scout right after that 9 pylon. And we will see if Atero can do anything if he does throw down a forward pylon. Is going out to scout right now. And is this gonna be a 12 or 13 gateway? It looks like it is a 13 gate indeed. So 13 gate coming down and we are gonna see a gas next, I would assume. The probe is going to make his way into Marine King's base. We do have Marine King again placing that barracks back here. And a terror. Well, he's just taken Marine King out twice. So Marine, he's probably like, you're probably going to cheese me, aren't you? So being really cautious about how he scouts. Make sure he scouts everything. Doesn't see this barracks yet. Maybe on tilt. And then he sees, he's like, ah, there's the rub. And sees that barracks. Probe tries to attack that SCV, is taking shield damage and going to get away. Is he going to get a hit point loss? And yes, the probe does take an actual hit as we did see game two he always pulled away just as his shields went off marine king is not getting a gas is he just going to go like all lax all in or is he going to get expand right now he is stacking a lot of middle so i believe he is going to expand could be just waiting for that probe to get out of his base and throw down like two or three barracks we will find out that probe is now out what are you doing marine he is throwing down an expansion and we do have this Nexus stacking energy. I think it could actually be a 4 -gate. I think my prediction was correct. The probe, however, is going far way back. I thought it would just retreat down here to throw down a forward pylon. Gets the watchtower. Chills out. SCV is in the base. We do have a Taylor building a Zealot first. Again, just to deal with that scout. The SCV trying his hardest to mess up this mining pair. And actually does steal a group of minerals and starts getting away. We do have a stalker being chrono boosted out with this cybernetics core being chrono boosted. SCV does have to get out of there as well. The stalker can take it out pretty easily. Probe still idle. We do have a Taro stacking minerals. So I think this is indeed going to be three gateways. Yes, three gateways are going down. It is a four gate play. And uh, SCV is going to see the one probe right here that's just Chilling on the watchtower, nothing out of the ordinary just yet. And he did probably count the pylons, be like, okay, you got your pylons in your base, not missing really any. So, this could kind of take him by surprise as it's the late forward pylon, the best forward pylon. And whoa, Marine King going for a lot of barracks right now, getting this orbital command as he's going to approach this with pure Marines. Does not know it's coming. Well, he may have, if you notice, like the Nexus stacking energy, how the Chrono Boost were going. Could Chrono Boost this Wolf Gates? Yes, there it is. There goes the pylon out, and oh my god, is he going to scout it? Yes, he does scout that forward pylon. Probably knows exactly what is coming up. Is he going to pull SCVs and prep for this to repair this bunker? Is going to try to get a... F no, it's not a complete wall off. Just getting another bunker. And there goes the four Stalkers warping in. So it's a four gate. It's a shame it's not Friday night. But the Stalkers are going to be coming up. Going over this army tab, you can see that Atero does have the advantage. However, SCV is all waiting for it. Stalker is going to choose the bunker that is not complete. And this four gate has been held off by the Marine King. Does have this expansion up really early. However, Marines don't do the best against Stalkers. So Marine King can't really push out. Still contained to his base. But it looks like this is not going to be a quick game at all. 
Marine King had those SUVs waiting. As soon as he saw that forward pylon, he knew exactly what was up. And, uh, still just mounting up. Going over this harvest account, you do see 24 SCVs versus 23 probes. So it looks like Marine King is in the advantage right now. The foregate is known to be, like, all-in-ish. We will see what a Taylor's transition out of it is, as this did absolutely no damage. A Taylor, I mean, Marine King didn't really sacrifice anything to defend it. This is kind of his normal play of what he was going to do. Got that command set up really early. Lots of tech labs coming up. Stalker pokes in, sees lots of Marines. Command Center just going to go down, take this one base. This is the new version of uh, Shakur's Plateau. So the rocks aren't leading to your base. They are down over here with a new lamp up to this. But I don't think Atero ever expects someone to go like one racks Command Center to be able to hold off this full gate. So this is going to be completely unexpected. And uh, the Robox facility, is he going to go for the Colossus? Yes, he is. He knows how many Marines there are. So he's going to be like, you know what? Colossus will take that out nicely. But that's a lot of Marauders being built. Do have concussive... Oh, no concussive shells, but he does have stem. Is he going to get concussive shells? I don't know. Two mules do drop down at his second base. We do have another probe coming across. Not sure what this probe is going to be up to. If this does get an observer, as it does... It is going over straight here. It is on the flight path just naturally to see this hidden base from Marine King. So I'm guessing all the Stalkers will go and start taking out the rocks to deal with this as he does not want to leave this unchecked. And there goes the Observer. Hey, base. And the Marine King trying to go out, but the force field from the tail is right on. Takes out the Observer, uh, the Sentry. Another century whoops in, but he did take out a lot of energy on that one as it did go down. Probably had quite a bit. Lots of Marauders. Marine King cannot leave his base. If he does, he will just get force fielded like he did. But there may be enough units where he can just break this contain. And Atera is going for his expansion. It looks like these Stalkers just trying to micro their huts out if they even had huts. And, uh... Does retreat back home, is whooping in some units. Going over this army tab, it is 57 food to 77 food. As we do see, Marine King is just skyrocketing in right now. Does have a huge army. Going over this army supply, you can see the graph is tilted into Marine King's favor. Taking out these pylons, going to be supply capping. A Taylor doesn't look like the full gate is going to be working for him. That Colossus is almost out. It could possibly sit on the high ground and do a lot of damage. Do we have scans from Marine King? Does have 50 energy there, does have no energy there. Warp Prism actually used, going to be doing zealous to stop this base from mining. Does he have sentries? No sentries here, so he's not going to be able to wall these units out of his base. Here we go, engagement coming in, Colossus is not out. Whooping in four sentries right now to get the force fields. Is he going to get it? He gets a lot of force fields. and But actually leaves a small hole, some more units stream up. The Colossus should be out now. And it looks like Marine King is now going to be taking out the Nexus. And where is that warp prism at? It looks like it is going to be... I can't find it. I don't want to go off. The force field does go down and both players are forced to one base. The warp prism looks like it has been taken down. So there's Marauders just dealing so much damage right now to those assimilators because why not at all? Oh, does he have the force field? Yes, he does get a force field. A lot of those mobs are going to be going down. Adero, with some solid defense, taking out all those units. And going back to this army tab, you can see Atera still behind. 48 food, 281. Marine King definitely holding strong. The one base that was right here decides, you know what, I can go over here now because, well... Your contain is no longer on me. Looks like Marine King is going to be able to take this game hands down. Observer does see this from Matero. Colossus and a few Stalkers are out, but it is 23 probes, 234 SCVs. This is most likely game over. Marine King defending that full gate like a champ. And whoa, he actually went up, took out that Colossus. My bad, I did not think he'd actually get up the ramp. I thought a sentry would... Without doubt, force field that ramp, so pretty big loss there for Mateo. Going over this loss tab, it does look like the resources are uh, uh, right now in Marine King's favor as he did lose 1,300 minerals less, plus he has a big advantage. Looks like a drop tried to go down. Didn't do too much damage as we do pull up the workers killed. 
We do have six SEVs killed versus 12 probes. And SEVs looks like he is going to be expanding yet again. So it is going to be three base Talon to just one base Protoss. Will Prism still trying to do his uh, drop antics on this middle line. Murata saying, nope, you can't drop, but we can't kill you. So uh, feel free to return home to your base. We do have a Colossus coming out, so that's only going to be one Colossus. Losing that one Colossus was pretty big, and whoa, the double expansion coming out from Marine King does not want to engage, is tired of those force fields. It's just going to get a huge army and be like, you know what, I can completely out macro you now. Scouting Factory is coming out from Marine King. Double Lance is being researched, a pylon is being built, and the factory decides to stop. I thought it was going to go all the way over to a tailor's base and see exactly what is going on. The observer does see this giant bioforce moving out. If we go over this army supply, you can see just how tilted both of these skills are into Marine King's favor. And he does see the extra bases coming out. Did he actually drop this? Yeah, he did drop that command center and took out the building SV. Gonna go back towards it. Two Vikings out to hunt down that warp prism. Actually, three, four Vikings out to hunt down that warp prism. And the Colossus and some Stalkers warping in. Does not want Marine King to go on all these bases. But he still hasn't scouted the uh, other base. So he doesn't know. Marine King double expanded. Probably does not expect that. Here comes a huge bioforce taking out that zealot. Now he's going to be taking out the stalkers. And a PF is going down on the expansion down here. And uh, this command center is still just being built because, well, it did lose to, uh, lose the SEV to a zealot. Going back in this army tab, a tarot is looking bad right now. Lot to a little. And a uh, big SCV transfer going on to the uh, hidden base. Because that does have the planetary fortress for defense. And uh, Vikings leading the way saying, okay, guys, you got to force field this. And force fields do go down, but the units don't get split at all. This Colossus could go down. One Colossus is almost down. It, is it going to fall? The Stalkers are not shooting those Vikings. The Vikings do take out one Colossus. And this is just too much trying to keep those force fields up. One Colossus is alive. The Bioforce, though, is just way, way too big. You can see the Lost tab still just showing in Marine King's favor. Going over to this Army tab now. The supply is almost completely over to the left. Marine King is at such an advantage right now. I don't know. Yes, Adora just decides to GG out. He doesn't know how to take this either. And Marine King does take his game. Can he possibly...